Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff deputy. Open up! Police! So since I've been having my back and forth struggles with YouTube, I have a backup channel, WTPU Amendment Auditors. I want you guys to go over there and subscribe. Just in case something happens to this channel, you guys will still be able to receive We The People University's content. This video is brought to you by the YouTube channel DirectD. Pretty sure most of you guys have already subscribed, but if you haven't, make sure you go and subscribe. After speaking with him, I advised him that I'm actually from South Florida, Palm Beach County, so I'm very familiar with this police department, and they are And this video was sent by one of his subscribers, and he was really trying to get the word out, so I told him I wanted to help him, and he advised me go ahead and share the video. I'm not going to chime in too much because he does a pretty good job of just breaking everything down as the video plays out. So we want to share this video with you so you can see yet again another police department violating the rights of the citizens. But don't just watch, also listen to what's being said so you can be educated and know when your rights are being violated. And if they are, you know what to do. Sue the hell out of them. Let's check this out. Uh, am I being What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. This video was submitted by a subscriber of mine, and as soon as I have a channel or somewhere to send you, I will be sure to update. But check it out. Let's get straight into the video. This one's crazy. This dude gets unlawfully arrested right now. This gentleman came right when he they just left here, right? And he went the people up, right? He went up to them to ask them why did he vote for Donald Trump, right? And then a, a conversation started arguing back and forth. So I came up and I asked him, why did you ask them what to vote for? Why you vote for Donald Trump? Right? Why you voted for Donald Trump? So I told him, I said, listen, you see us with signs that's so quite clearly we vote for Biden. So, right? So, get on gun? Got Yes, he's got his way. So, what happened? What happened? This gentleman threatened me. And I, this gentleman right here, and I begged him not to do it. I told him I would. I thought you said they left. Huh? I thought you said they left. No, of the people that thought he was talking to first, that he was yelling at. Okay, well, hold on. Right? I'll talk to you. Right? I went over to ask him why, ask him what happened. He said that well, then, all he was doing was talking to the lady, apparently to the, his wife. So I... Am I detained, sir? Sir, am I being detained? Yes, right now, hold on. Right now? I need you to right. with me, okay? So I told him, Right? Why? Why are you asking them? Why did they vote for okay. for Biden? So right? What did he do? Right? What and he do? said to me, I said to him, Well, you need to get the fuck out of here because I'm not asking you who you okay. vote for. If you like this and say, I gotta go. Okay. So you're you with it? Yes. Wow. He so said, I've got a gun. It's just it's no. Important, informing, it's different than saying I'm just... Well, well, that he informed. Now that is going to be a very important piece of information for any court case that leads from this. The officer clearly told this man that threatening is different than informing. And the man said he informed then. Just say, I got a gun. By patting the gun. Okay, stand, stand over here for a little bit. Okay. Now it's at this point, after hearing what that officer just heard, that he should ask this guy, did you threaten him? He's going to say no, and then he should say, okay, have a nice day, that there was no crime committed here. But that's not quite how this is going to play out. Uh, 
relate to the presence and representation of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statements during any questioning. You cannot afford a lawyer. You have to tell the presence and representation of a court appointed lawyer before you make any statement during any questioning. If at any time during the interview you do not wish to answer any questions, you are privileged to remain silent. If you make no threats or promises, you should make your statement. This must be your own free will. Any statement can or will be used either in the court of law. Do you understand those rights? I do. So tell me what's wrong. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Oh, I'm going to. Why, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Just cooperate with me. Just cooperate with me. So the responding officer already established with the reporting party that no crime has been committed. The reporting party clearly said he just informed me. He didn't threaten me. That was clearly established in the beginning of the video. So everything you are about to see is 100% unnecessary. This officer should have told him to have a nice day. Yeah, don't make my job any more difficult for me. Just listen. Don't resist. Just listen. Don't make my job any more difficult for me. What kind of crap is this? My gun. Is it confirmed zero? Don't take my gun. Don't touch my gun. Now, that is going to be another very important piece of information for this case. That officer just asked him, is it confirmed? And what I believe to be threatening with a weapon. And the officer confirmed that it was not that. That's why the dude relaxed right now. But yet they're going to continue with this. Was never so is, far is, there, is, there, okay. is there is there is there anything I can do for you? you? Just kind of decide. Just kind of decide Wait, are you making a statement? Would you let me talk to the sauce right now? Uh, you, you are detained talking? right now. You're detained. Okay. okay. To your I'm talking. I'm okay. talking. Okay. Okay. Are you making a statement or are you? And I hope you're hearing this. This officer is literally telling this other officer that there were no threats. He didn't do anything wrong, but they continue to tell him he's detained and they're about to cuff him. Making it, you said, you said, alleged, you said, you made a statement about whether I touched my gun or not. Are you I'm making a statement you. or are uh, you? Just, just, just. He said, the guy before me. No, no, you, you don't, 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 don't got to look at me. You don't, don't, don't got to no, look no. at me. Listen, okay. listen, no, listen, no. listen. What are you Come doing? Out. What are you Come doing? Out. What are you doing? Scared of zero. It's not my gun, it's my magazine. There's a zero. Please, please gun. touch my, you, you touch, you touch him, you touch him? It's, it, there's a round in the chamber. You know, it could be me. Maybe I just don't understand the constitution. Or it can be the cops who don't understand the basic rights of the people. Let's read the second amendment really quickly, just to make sure we have a good understanding of what's going on. The second amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep, to keep, not the right of the police to take your weapon because they fear for their safety. But the second amendment reads the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It's not that hard. It's simple. He's just not being cooperative. Huh? He's not being cooperative. He's not sitting still. He's just moving along. Don't take the gun. Don't take the gun. Yeah. Okay, hold on a gun. Go ahead and grab him there. That's right, folks. You are watching a man who has committed no crime, and the officers know this, be arrested for moving around too much and not cooperating. What kind of country are we living in where this is okay? I'm not I'm not making any legal statements. My lawyer is gonna eat this. Please show on your on your camera. Please show on your camera. Reported. Okay. And, and you uh, please please say I am in handcuffs. Please please right. acknowledge. Am I in handcuffs? I am in handcuffs, right? My lawyer. You took my gun from me. Yeah. And you put me in handcuffs. You're not cooperating. We're trying to figure this out. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm talking too. Right? 
Wait a minute. You cannot put me in handcuffs for talking. Well, let's figure this out. How, how did I not let you figure this out? What did because I do to not? Huh? Wait, you so, that? so, so, wait, so, so, wait, so you put me in handcuffs because I was talking. For everybody's safety, yes. Right, stay over there. 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 Stay up, it's fine. Stay so the responding officer has already established with the reporting party that no crime has actually been committed, that the guy was just informing him that he was carrying a weapon, and yet these officers cuffed him for everybody's safety. What? It's my sister. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They and there's nothing happened, nothing happened. I'm, I'm no, it's fine, it's fine. Let her video, it's evidence, it's evidence. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I did nothing wrong, right? These officers are gonna have a nice conversation with my lawyer. Nothing happened, it's fine. Please, it's fine. Because these gentlemen did not like me talking. I did not, I did not, I did not say what they wanted me to say. They wanted me to talk about legal issues. I refuse to talk about legal issues. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's, it's, fine. it's, it's all fine. It's just got some ammo. A lot of ammunition. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Let's just go down here. These gentlemen were nice enough not to put their hands up too tight, so it's fine. I'm all good. Where's my gun? Yeah. I saw this guy right there. Oh, he took my gun away? Where is it? What's that? Where, where's my gun? I got your gun. You have it on you right now? I got your gun. Okay. I got your gun. Okay. I don't want my gun to leave my sight. Hey, uh, is there a gun range out here? Don't don't answer any questions. Okay. That's your, 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 your right. What are you guys No 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 no. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No 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 no. Listen. What are you waiting for? Nothing. It's nothing. Don't 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 answer anything. Don't don't even stress. Don't worry about anything. Nothing to stress. Yes. Nothing to stress about. Do whatever they say. Thank you so much. Basically, he said, you're free to be free and continue to be free. Don't answer any legal question. That is a legal question. That's a legal answer. Don't answer any, exercise your right to remain silent. Don't answer any legal questions. The, the terms, please don't answer any legal questions at all. You have no idea what I have with you. Don't answer any legal questions at all. Oh, I want all of your information. Oh, it will be. I want all of your cards. Every police officer that's been here. Can we do anything further than anybody reading? I already read it. Perfect. <laughs> oh, and you're not wearing a mask. You're talking. I know the car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so traditional. You weren't even wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. I think he was talking without a mask. Your thing is on. Ooh, it is. Officer is Amanda. You ain't here. Where's your mask? Okay, where's your, where's your ID? Oh,
Don't answer any questions. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go in your pocket and I'm gonna retrieve your identification. Why, why are you retrieving it? Am I, do you have I committed a crime? Can you believe what you're watching right now? Because I can't. These officers have clearly established with the person that called them that no crime has actually been committed, and yet here they are about to violate his Fourth Amendment right. Huh? I can, you said I committed a crime? I need you to give me your name. Did you say, did you say I committed a crime? Did you say, did you say I committed a crime? Are you going to give me your name? Did you say I committed a crime? Have I committed a crime? You can't take me to jail for not getting a crime myself. I'm not going to find myself. Well, because go home and eat that, uh, that kick out bought me for your birthday, okay? Enjoy it. Have a good deal. Go home. Go home, because. Oh, go get my phone out of the car. Call my mentor. Call my mentor. Call Mr. Doug. Oh, report, 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 report. The Constitution of the United States has clearly established our right to be secure in our effects. These officers just violated this man's constitutional rights. He didn't commit any crimes. Report everything. I, I have, show, show that I have my concealed weapons from it. That you failed to identify yourself to law enforcement. Really? Report that as well. Sure, report the concealed weapons from it as well. To make sure I, I have my concealed weapons. Nothing, guys. Oh, come on. This farm, this farm is fine. I have, I have. The reason why, the reason why he's under arrest at the moment is because he identified himself for law enforcement. But he has this. What? 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 He identified himself. He tell us his name. This, I'm not here to argue about it. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you. All I want you to do is right now. This is back away. So back away before the back away. Back away. Because you're distracting me. No, back away. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Back away. Back away. Back away. Back up. Back up. Look. Is that okay where she's staying? Is that okay? Do you want her to back away? Don't answer any questions. Do you, do you want her to back away? Where do you want her to be? Where do you want her to be? Okay, what criminal investigation? Have I committed a crime? What what crime are you suspecting me of? What crime are you suspecting me of? You fail to identify yourself. What crime have you suspected me of? No, that's not a crime. Okay. What crime have you uh, what, that's right? What crime have you How are you are you suspecting me? You have to suspect me of a crime in order to ask to get my identification. You have to uh tell me who you are because you are a public servant. I don't have to tell you who I am because I'm not a public servant. Okay. Master. Oh, I'm making I'm making legal statements. Oh my goodness. To a master. Kind of cute though. I like your I like your blue eyes. Kind of cute. But is she, or in it, they didn't say you can move any further. Make, make sure you comply with all their laws. Okay. Okay. It's a raise your right hand. So it's a, the whole two couple trips. So I didn't know the truth. Okay. So I have so I came over and I said to you, why did you ask the man why didn't he vote for Trump? And why were you seeing with a sign and so forth that clearly he didn't vote for Trump? Right? What are you doing here? And he said, why can't I be here? I said, well then, but you're not a part of us. Let the fuck out of here. That's what I said to you. And he said, I could see the impression, the boy. And I said, I don't give a fuck if they have a gun, I'm going to try it. And there you have it again, folks. Confirmation that he was only informing this potentially hostile individual that he was armed. But yet he's in the back of a police cruiser right now for failing to identify.
You do the math on that and tell me if it adds up. Check me in the comment section and I'll give you an update as soon as I know something, but there's definitely gonna be a lawsuit filed over this. Yes, sir. So we see at the end, the officer asked the complainant, are you willing to prosecute? And he says, yes, sir. Prosecute what? You've already established that there was no crime committed. I'm with Direct D on this one. I'm pretty sure a lawsuit is coming out of this. We the people must know our rights. We never know when we will be involved in a situation just like this. But if you are, you must know your rights. And I want to help you learn your rights. Down below is a link to my free ebook. Make sure you download it. You can also find it right here above my head. It's going to help you learn your rights. So when you encounter the police, you won't be caught lacking. And for those who are truly serious about learning their rights, make sure you register for my online video course titled Surviving the Police. It's full of video lessons, real life video examples, quizzes to make sure you retain the information. And get this, you don't even have to take notes. I took them for you. It also comes with the pocket guide with the constitution, case law, and all the do's and don'ts when dealing with the police so you're never caught lacking. Make sure you register today. The link is also below. With that being said, don't be caught lacking. We the People University, signing off.